So we're taking a look at a piece of equipment from Hackett Equipment. This is the tactical glasses and goggles. So as the name implies, this product is a combination of glasses and goggles. It's got this foam insert. And what it does is when you have it in goggle mode, it presses up against your face and it creates a pretty good seal against dirt, dust, um, brass casings when you're shooting, things like that. So this thing comes with four different lenses. This lens right here looks like fire red on the outside. Your yellow lens for shooting, clear lens for shooting or driving. This darker lens. A nice hard case, lens cleaning cloth, soft carrying case. And you get these two things. I think they connect to the arms of the glasses. And of course you get the goggle straps. So it turns these shooting glasses into a pair of shooting goggles. So to switch over to goggle mode, really simple. Take them off your face. So you got this tab right here. Just push in, pull out the uh, arm. Repeat the process here. Then you just pop it in. And now you got a pair of shooting goggles. And then when you have them on, as I mentioned before, when you have it in goggle mode, it creates that nice seal so nothing's getting in your eyes. Your eyes are well protected. So overall, these are a really comfortable set of shooting glasses, shooting goggles. I've been using them for about two and a half weeks now, and I really dig them. I've actually been wearing them on a daily basis now. I used to wear a pair of Smith Optic sunglasses, and I love those, but, you know, these working out pretty good, and I like the whole ceiling thing. You get some of the benefits of that even in sunglasses mode, just depending on how close you press them against your face. And honestly, I really like these lenses on a daily basis. After wearing these for about two and a half weeks, I only have about three major complaints. They got a really strong plasticky smell, so don't dig that, and it is fairly strong. And then there's the quality of the plastic itself. In terms of sound, they're not too far off of what they use to package candy. Not the most confidence-inspiring sounding plastic. But you know what? It feels pretty durable. Finally, probably for me, the most important thing is the comfort in sunglasses mode. So let's just take these off. Let's put these arms back on. So for the most part, when I put them on first thing in the morning or when I haven't been wearing them for a while, great, perfect, very comfortable. But I've noticed the longer that I wear these, it starts to get more and more uncomfortable to the point where it actually starts to kind of hurt. Uh, and I think what's going on is it's such a tight fit and that's not a bad thing by any means. I mean, you know, they're not going anywhere, you know. They're going to be solidly on my face. The only thing is, it's a tight fit. Right here, it tapers in, and then it's got this flat piece right here. I feel the most discomfort right around this area after wearing it for like an hour or so. All they really need, would need to do is either reduce this taper so it's not as aggressive back here. And I'm hoping over time it starts to break in like that. But I think if they added like some sort of padding right here, Similar to what I have on my Smith, you know, it's got a little bit of padding right here. And that's enough that on these, you know, it's a tight fit. They're not going anywhere, but it's also still very comfortable here. The taper is nowhere near as aggressive on these Smith sunglasses versus these Hackett equipment glasses. And that's really my main, I don't want to say it's a deal breaker, but that's my main criticism, concern with these glasses. I'm still going to be wearing them on a daily basis. It's just that I hope they kind of loosen up or break in just so it's not as uncomfortable because in terms of the optics you know i really like them you know it's really clear plus my smiths they're out of production i can't get new lenses for these these guys you know even if i break this whole frame or whatever you know it was only 25 dollars and there's coupon codes online if you go to their website they actually have that spinning wheel thing where you might get a cool coupon code or you might get nothing. So, you know, overall, Hackett Equipment, I've only recently heard of them on a couple of my podcasts that I listen to. Really impressed for $25, you know. I really like these sunglasses. And I've been using Smith Optics sunglasses for well over a decade now. And I love my Smiths, but you know what? I really like these Hackett's. So, overall, Hackett Equipment, tactical shooting glasses and goggles, good deal. Take a look. So we're taking a little walk outside, Hackett shooting glasses. I got them here in the glasses configuration. And you know, overall, pretty good fit, nice and tight. It's not going anywhere. I like the way these um, pads block out all the wind and everything for my eyes. So I got the uh, glasses in the goggle configuration now. And you know, overall, I feel the goggle configuration is a lot more comfortable than the glasses configuration. At least for me, the uh, glasses configuration, it was a little too tight, a little uh, painful after a while. These goggles right now, at least the way they sit, very, very comfortable. So overall, these Hackett shooting glasses, I think I'm going to be using them more in the goggle configuration, at least when I'm at the range. Day-to-day -day use, I'm probably still going to be using them more in the uh, glasses configuration, 
though I'm just hoping they start to break in a little bit more, loosen up a little bit. So overall, this is the uh, packet shooting glasses here in the goggle configuration.